Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to manipulate in gateway so that you can build teleporters essentially anywhere in the end, infinite distance, and it's a two-way teleporter. So let's go ahead and head over to the end. So this is a, just a new world. I haven't done anything in this world at all. There'll be a download to a blank world with these two items in the description. So you'll be able to access them and play with them. But anyways, so first off, you do not want to load any of the chunks where end gateways naturally generate because as a result you will not be able to generate end gateways so why don't we teleport to say uh... 100,000, 100, 100,000 so we will just place an end portal like you know I mean an end gateway right here so it won't work if we can um, all we have to do is Chunk, so I should teleport back and then come back here. Oops, sorry about that. So I get here, here. So I can see my coordinates are almost roughly perfectly on the x x coordinates. They're almost exactly the same. I don't know why it generated oddly. That's weird. But anyways, so you, as you can see, it's almost perfectly 740, 740. So if I traveled, uh, which direction is it? Like this direction. If I traveled this direction diagonally, I would almost certainly hit that end gateway. And if I uh, let's just break some blocks here, if I go through it again, teleport back to 10,000. 10, we will try. So there is a the reason you can't load the chunks where the end gateway generates is because if you do then it won't be able to generate an end gateway so we can test this so if we teleport to negative 700 100 negative 700 this is about roughly where end gateways would generate assuming you built assuming you generated like a naturally generating end gateway so let's go ahead and uh, render all the chunks around us in a 64 radius so basically when you place an end gateway the game thinks that it was generated naturally from a dragon so it will try and teleport it will try to generate an end gateway that is roughly around here. So as you can see, I'm generating all the chunks here. All these chunks have been generated. So now if I just try to TP to negative 100,000, 100, 100,000. 100, we'll place it in gateway right here. I will teleport back to zero, zero. Teleport to this. As you can see, it's not working. So yeah, just make sure not to load the chunks, but I mean we can show an extreme example of this. Let's teleport to eight million one hundred negative eight million. Well no, we just wouldn't go we already uh use the so you cannot have multiple portals along one axis. Once you've done it, you can't like you can't place a uh, and then gateway on 10,000, 10,000, and then another at 100,000, and break the one at 10,000. Expect it to work because it won't. You can only have one on each axis, if that makes any sense. And there, since there are a limited number of end gateways that generate, you can only have a limited number of portals. But it's something like, I believe it's around 30. But anyway, so we can teleport to here. So as you can see, at around 8 million blocks, the game is uh, pretty laggy. I can't move at all. Yeah, see, I can barely move. Just generally really laggy, but um, we'll place an in gateway just right here. All right, and then we'll TP to zero, one hundred zero, and back. And let's see. It takes one tick to travel through an end gateway, multiply that by 8 million blocks, that is 20 times 8, which would be 160 million blocks per second. The speed of light is 300 million blocks, so it's a little over 50% the speed of light. 
course, I mean, obviously this isn't perfectly optimal, but I mean, theoretically, you could travel any distance with this. Now, you're probably asking why would this be so useful because it doesn't really matter how far you travel out in the end. That doesn't really help you. But in the future, when we hopefully get job parity, you will be able to use uh, another portal block. So you can just place another portal block here. It'll teleport you to the nether. And then from the nether, you can go to the overworld. So you could theoretically travel, you know, to the world border easily in uh, just a matter of seconds. And Bedrock also needs to fix their, um, they have, let's see. Yeah, they have net in far lands and just general jittiness. But anyways, uh, let's just head back to the overworld if I can get through the portal block here. Um, yeah, so there'll be a blank world in the description. You can uh, test it out for yourself. Um, thanks for watching.